Frontier Fighters. Frontier Fighters, deathless deeds of those valiant, fearless sons of courage who contributed history-making epochs to the story of the West. The history of Arizona fairly bristles with the adventure of Cohese, the only Indian who successfully defied the authority of the federal government for more than a decade. His was a reign of terror that extended from 1860 to 1872. So terrorized were his victims but their word-of-mouth descriptions of his renegade exploits practically stopped emigration into Arizona. The pioneers in Arizona sent a petition to President Ulysses S. Grant. At the White House in Washington, D.C., President Grant speaks to Major General O. O. Howard. General Howard, there is only one man in the whole United States who is defying the authority of the federal government. That renegade, Cohesi, in Arizona. Yes. The only solution to the problem is to get the Apaches onto a reservation. And that won't be easy. They're proud, suspicious, deadly. They're more than a tribe. They look upon themselves as a nation. And Cohese, an uncrowned king. He's a scourge, Mr. President. Well, General, I leave it all in your hands. The only command I have to give you is that Cohese must be captured and banished. Or made to recognize the law. I give you full and unreserved authority. I don't know how long it will take, sir. How much time or money? That is up to you to determine. However, I don't expect you to return until Arizona is safe for future generations of American immigrants. I won't fail you, sir. In this packet are letters of introduction to old desert settlers. Men who know the country. The guide who will do you the most good is a red-headed, independent, devil-may-care frontiersman, Captain T.J. Jeffers. I'll make him my aide, sir. It's only fair to warn you, General, that Captain Jeffers is loyal to both the federal government and his friend, Cohese. <laughs> General, I suppose like everybody else who first puts foot in Arizona, you're wondering why I'm the friend of that pesky redskin. I think, Captain Jeffords, if you're to be my aide, it is my right to know. Of course, there's no hurry. Can't hurry nothing in this country. Not if you count the Cohesi business as a standard of time. Everybody's been trying to get him out of this part of the country for nigh under 12 years. And you failed, too? I don't say that I failed because I never really tried. Captain, do you realize what you're saying? On lesser evidence, men have been court martialed and condemned to death. General, it's a peculiar situation out here. Cohesi isn't just a man and a killer. He's sort of an uncrowned king. A grateful and ungrateful sort of cuss. Picked off some of my best men up here, but on three different occasions he saved my life. Captain Jeffords, let's be done with sentiment. I'm afraid your time in Arizona has made your blood a little sluggish. The president demands action. I demand action. If you're Cohesi's friend, you know where he is. Mm, looks like somebody's in a big hurry to get to this outpost. Aren't there some riderless horses in with those cowhands? Redskins. Captain Dick. Cohesi's a murderer. What's good is the government? Where's Ain't Percy? 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 Where's Ain't
first, isn't it? So easy. So easy, men. Yes. We try to get through the Apache Pass to take our cattle to the grazing land. How many cow hands did you lose? Two. I tell you, Jeffers, if we can't pasture our horses, we've got to get out of Arizona. Oh, he's, he thinks everything over that pass is his land for his cattle. All this land belongs to the federal government held in trust for law-abiding citizens of Arizona. Sorry, Bill. I'll get back with you and help bring in the dead. All right, Captain Jeffers. Now, sir, will you take me to that red devil cohesive? I'll take you to where he might be hanging out. I guess you'll find him willing to make big talk. I don't want to treat with an Apache by making big talk, but at the point of a gun. Oh, why not accept my plan, General? After all, the man's my friend. I made a vow I'd blast this Cohesi out of this territory. Think the federal government's going to give you all those troops, General? Huh? Uh, Ain't you heard the old saying about fire being used to fight fire, poison for poison? It's just like the old story of like wanting to meet like. Coheezy's he's a king in Arizona. Well, this is certainly a new way to play a game of war. If you leave your guns and cartridge belts behind, just the minute we put foot into his territory, we'll get somewhere. I insist on taking a troop with me. Five men is all you need for this mission. Oh, what can five men do against 500 Indians? Authority, General, ain't in numbers. It's stamped in a man's face. Well, I'm following your advice blindly. I'm trusting in you to know the Apaches. I know them, General, well. All right. We'll start in the morning. But you don't think this Redskin's going to keep his promise, do you? Discourage Arizona. This poor colonization and civilization, strange as it may be, is a man of his word. Besides, I'm a blood brother of Cohesi's now. <laughs> I got a name with them Apaches. It's Red Whiskers. <laughs> General Howard was forced to accept Jeffords' counsel. Much against his will, he started out for Indian country with a party of five men. After a journey of three days, Jeffords brought the party to a halt and lit a signal fire. Within half an hour, a thundering horde of redskins suddenly appeared. To General Howard, it looked like they were coming out of nowhere at full speed for the white men. There they come for us! Battle formation, men! Drop your guns, men! I am giving orders here. Men, attention! Get your horses to battle formation! Sell your lives dearly! Uh, General Howard, these Apaches are coming answer to my signal. You're to annihilate us. Thanks to your advice, Captain Jeffers, we'll be wiped out. We will if we so fight. These Apaches ain't got the war bonnet trying to tell you. They're rigged out in the Sunday go to meet and close to welcome us. Wait long, sir. I suppose I've got to be fool enough to do as you say, Jeffers. Tell your men to take off your cartridge belts and throw them on the ground. Do as Captain Jeffers says, men. All right, sir. Look, look, they're armed. Put your hands out in front of you, men. All except the general. You, sir, hold your hands on your chest and look like U.S. Grant might if he was here. A lot of idiotic tomfoolery with bloodthirsty savages. Red Whiskers desires General Howard to be taken to his blood brother, Cohesi, who will make big talk with him in the name of the White Father in Washington. Red Whiskers, honored in tribe of Cohesi. He keep his word. Now white men may put on belts with firearms in them. All will be armed now, but none will shoot. I have spoken. All among us will be armed, but none will shoot. I have spoken. All right, General, they lead you follow. And it won't be very long before you'll be standing face to face with Coheasy. The uncrowned king of Arizona. Right through here, General, into this lodge. That's Coheasy coming to us. He speaks English with a Mexican accent. Been trading among the Mexicans so long. I still think we're in a trap. And we'll never get out of this alive. General, it's eye to eye with these engines. Better start giving him the pride look. Welcome. Welcome, Red Whiskers, my brother. Welcome to you, my brother Coheasy. And a welcome to you, General Howard. Let us sit and smoke the pipe of peace. First... I spoke. To 
You next, my brother, Red Whisker. Yeah. Uh, and uh, from my lips to the lips of him who speaks with the tongue of the great white father in Washington. The great white father, General Grant, has sent me to make peace between you and the white people. Mm, peace is very dear to my heart and the heart of my people. It is the desire of the white father that all his children of the many tribes move on to reservations. For the Apache, he wishes to establish a reservation on the Rio Grande. Uh, I have been there and I know the land well, but it would break up my tribe to move. Why not give me Apache Pass? Give me that, and I will protect all the roads. I will see that nobody's land is taken by the Indians. That might do, but it would be much better for your tribe to go to Alamosa. I must call all my warriors and my chiefs together again. It will be ten days before I know their will. I can stay until there is peace between you and me, between my people and your people. I have spoken. Mm. General, I... I think you put it over and you handled him with dignity and authority. If I fail in this, then I don't know what will be the future of this great territory. These redskins have got as many holes as foxes. Take 50 years to blast them out. Go easy knows the game will be up someday. I'll get to him tomorrow and tell him if he don't make peace, his people will be the outcasts of all the Indian nations. They're murderers and renegades now. But not outcasts. He's proud, this go easy. Proud of what? General, maybe he's proud of belonging to a people that remind us they happen to be the first Americans. Ten fateful days finally passed. Howard once more stood in the presence of Cohese. General Howard, I have come to talk peace with you. It is well. But there is one condition. The great white father can make no conditions with his children. They must obey him. Cohese makes a condition. It is that my brother Red Whisker shall be Indian agent. My brother, I don't wish to be Indian agent. I have my own work. Then there is no peace. Captain Jeffords, as your senior officer, I must insist that you take the post. I command you. From you, the Indians will receive just treatment. Do you become Indian agent, my brother? I'm bent on this territory having a future, too. Suppose it won't, unless there's peace. Don't like the idea of so much work, but uh, I'll take it. Good. I give you my honor on these words. Hereafter, the white man and the Indian are to drink of the same water, eat of the same bread, and be at peace forever. And so peace did come to Arizona, and with it, prosperity. And once more, the emigrant trains appeared on the Santa Fe Trail, bound for Arizona. Cohese, true to his word, kept the peace, and his son after him. Thanks to the faith President Grant had in General Howard, and the strange loyalty of Captain Jeffords. And so, another chapter closes in the annals of the history of the West. And those brave men, who we are proud to call frontier fighters. <laughs> 